Hi there, I'm Sarah from Great Days by Sarah and happy Mother's Day. Today I'll be taking you through a yoga practice focus on our heart opening. So we accept all that love from our kids, our partners and our families and for ourselves. We're gonna start off at the top of our yoga mat. Big toes touch, heels a little bit apart. We're gonna inhale up. And as our hands come to the top, we're gonna to lean back just slightly because we're just getting started. Maybe eyes go towards the ceiling. Maybe they still stay straight ahead. And then we'll pull our elbows down towards our midsection, opening up through our heart. Let's connect it with breath. Inhale, arms come up. Exhale, open your heart. Inhale, arms come up. Exhale, act like you're pulling something down, really activating through your shoulders, through your back, through your arms. Last one up. And biggest one yet, maybe add a little bit more of a lean. And come up. Right hand grabs your left wrist, lean it over to the side. Let's open up through your side body, but then twist slightly, looking up underneath your left arm. Slightly different of an angle, but still opening up through your heart. And switch it over. Left wrist pulls the right. Find the lean. Then open up and peek. Back towards center. Swan dive it over. Those long, strong legs. Inhale, halfway lift. This time shining our heart straight towards the floor, nice flat back. Exhale brings you down, two more like that. We'll come back to this one often. Halfway left and fold. Hands wherever they can help. Inhale, halfway lift, roll those shoulders back and down. Fold, plant your hands, step it back slightly, find yourself into a plank, hold, and breathe, then drop your knees if they're not done already, and turn into a modified side plank. So I'll encourage everyone, even if you can do a full side plank, modify it first, you'll see why. Lean it back, reaching towards your space, sending your hips forward, shoulders back, and open. Back up tall, plant your hand, other side, switch the knee, find the modification first, and then lean it back and open. Send your hips forward, it'll give you a stronger base to open up. Back to plank, modify, or full. And on your next inhale, chaturanga or cobra. I'll show you the modification, lower it down all the way, Cobra is our tiny back bend. Exhale brings you back. You can press through child's pose. It's a great way to come to a down dog. And we'll all meet down in this upside down letter V with your body. Do what you need to do to find your stillness. Maybe it's pedal out your feet, shift your hips side to side. hands back just about one length of each hand so we're in this shortened down dog and take your left hand and reach somewhere on your right leg so it can be a thigh a calf maybe even the outside of your foot something to hold on to so we can add the twist and peer underneath our right arm feeling that opening through your left shoulder and then reset in this shortened down dog and do the opposite. Right hand somewhere on your left leg, peer up underneath your left arm, feeling that stretch through your right shoulder. Reset, lengthen your plank out again. 
And this time we're gonna lower down onto our forearms, then lower your hips, and find your version of Sphinx Pose. So this can be low, if this is enough. This can be a little bit higher in Sphinx here. If you crave a little bit more, come up to an upward facing dog. Press into the tops of your feet, shoulders over your wrists, peer forward. Wherever you choose to be, we're gonna breathe for three breaths. Open up through your chest, through your shoulders, and shine your heart. One more. We'll all meet back in child's pose. Knees can be together. I prefer my knees wide, my toes touching. Send your forehead to the mat. If it doesn't touch, bring the mat to you by stacking your fists. And then walk your hands forward. Once again, we'll meet in downward facing dog. Send it forward to plank. We're gonna go through those side bends or side planks one more time. This time, if you'd like to try the full version, come up, stacking your feet is the toughest way. I like to stagger up so I can control my lean or do the modification, drop the knee, do what we did the first time shining your heart up and open. For your last breath, can you look towards your thumb on that top hand and then bring it back and we'll go other side. Try the variation that you took on the first side on the second. So if you stacked your feet, try it. If you staggered them, try it. Leaning up and over, hips stay high, or you're in the modification, really sending your hips forward, focusing on this opening. Last breath, can you look for your thumb and bring it back to plank. We hold strongly, breathe and squeeze, and then tiptoe your feet up to the top as we reverse this swan dive all the way from where we started. Three deeper back bends. Exhale, here, shine your heart. Inhale, brings you tall. Exhale, shine and squeeze. Inhale, brings you up. Last one this round. Inhale, brings you up. Exhale, fold it forward. Find a strong halfway lift. Exhale, hop, step or jump through your version of a chaturanga or a cobra. Take it through your flow or just meet us back in downward facing dog. Inhale, bring your right leg high. Exhale, step it through for our first warrior one. Turn your heel down on the back. Foot is at an angle. Come on up, use your thigh as much as you need to. Deep bend through that front leg stacking your knee over your ankle, and then we'll reach up. Then we'll clasp, our, clasp all 10 fingers, leaving your pointers towards the sky, and we'll add the back bend, add the shine. Last big inhale. Bring it down, around, and through. Chaturanga, upward facing, and downward facing. Inhale, left leg high. Same thing, other side. Might feel like a totally different body and that's okay. Peel that foot into the mat. We reach up, we interlace and point and shine. So strong, last one. Arms come down, around, and through.
stay in down dog or drop to child's pose. We're here for three slow, intentional breaths. When you're ready, we'll meet at the top of the mat, however you can get there. Inhale brings your back flat, gaze down. Exhale, fold. And then with a strong base, reverse your swan dive all the way up. Last three back bends here, standing. Inhale, reach as high as you can. Exhale, maybe even look back. Follow that imaginary line on the ceiling. As you tip back, try to get one more inch. And last one for today. Send it down. Back to plank. Chaturanga or just down dog. Inhale, lift your left leg high. Exhale, brings it through, this time warrior two. Turn your heel down, arms come up around. Take a second to find your base. So that front foot pointing directly straight. This back one turned in just a little bit. Deep bend through that front leg, straight strong back leg. Arms come up, check in with your shoulders. Are they here? Are they too far back? Make sure they're right over your hips as you sink down. And then your gaze goes towards your front middle finger. Breathe, get low. Let's reverse this warrior, reach forward. Rainbow this top arm up, over, shine your heart. I'm gonna stay here for the inhale. And then exhale, side angle. Forearm can be on your thigh, opposite arm reaches up straight, and then all the way, so you have this long, strong diagonal line from your back heel to the top of your fingers. Press your shoulders down away from your ear. Sink a little bit lower into that front leg and shine your heart. So a little lean back, push those boundaries of balance. We'll reverse it one more time. Don't straighten that leg yet. Now straighten it and lean. Once again, we'll stay for the inhale. Exhale brings you down, around, and through. Your choice, your body, your flow. Inhale, right leg lifts. Exhale, step it through, find your warrior two. Arms come up, around, and back. Front foot straight ahead, back foot turned in, back leg straight. Arms come up, gazes over that middle finger. We breathe first. Then we reverse, reach it forward first, so you have a perfectly painted rainbow over the top. Stay here, inhale. Exhale, brings you to that side angle. Plant your forearm, reach your arm up, just establish that balance, and then send it all the way through the top. Visualize that straight line from your heel to your fingertips, and then open up through your chest, challenge that balance, sink a little lower in that front leg. One more big breath. Reverse it, don't straighten it. I know it's tempting. Now straighten it. Hold for the inhale. And then cartwheel the hands for the exhale all the way down. And press it back. Drop your knees, take a sip of water if you need it. We do have one last back bend. We're gonna go into camel 
or a modification. So knees are about hip distance apart. I like to tuck my toes under, underneath. I don't love putting my head all the way back and looking back. It kind of triggers some motion stuff for me. So you'll see me modify, but I'll walk you through what you could do for the next step. It's gonna be very similar to how we were at the top of our mat. So I'll show you from the front. So from the top of the mat, we are here and we are pulling back here. This is getting us ready for camel. Now we're gonna be on our knees for camel, placing your fingers, all 10 fingers, the small of your back pointing down. Elbows are really squeezing towards each other. And maybe your version of camel is today, push your hips forward, open up, eyes towards the ceiling. This is perfect. Start here. So join me when you're ready. Toes can be untucked, toes can be tucked, whatever feels better for you. As we inhale, we get tall. As we exhale, we press our hips forward, still getting tall, and look up. I'm gonna stay here for the first one. If you know the next step, go there. Reach for your feet. Come up slow. I like to pretend there's a line coming down. It helps with the motion. We're gonna do one more like that. You can do that once again. I'm gonna show you how I reach towards my heels and open up through my shoulders and my chest a little bit more. But if that one felt good, do that one again. So let's inhale up, everyone gets tall. Exhale, start to follow that line on the ceiling. I'm pressing my hips forward. My spine stays long, it's not crunching through my lower back. I'm gonna keep following that line and then we're gonna reach with one hand, reach with the other. You can see why I like my toes tucked under because it brings them a little higher off the floor. But if you can flatten your feet and find this posture, that works too. I'll show you for one beat. You can drop your head back and look if you like that. My body does not, so I'm gonna stay right here, gazing towards where my ceiling and my wall meet. And as I inhale, I just open up through my chest, through my heart, through my shoulders. And then to come out of this, one hand at a time to your lower back and press it out. Round it out. Bring it into child's pose. This time I'll keep my knees where they are. Tuck my head. And if you'd like to, reach behind you so you're kind of tucked into a smaller ball. If that doesn't work for you, go to child's pose. Depending on how your body feels today or the shape of your body, this might not be possible and that's okay. Just reach those arms out. Take the wide stance if you need it and press down. Camel's an intense pose, so move slowly and intentionally in and out of it. Roll yourself up. We're gonna have a seat. Cross your legs in front. We do our seated twist today, so we can still work on shining our heart, but we'll be a little more upright. Gonna inhale up. Take your right hand, left knee. First one's gonna be very simple. Just being here, we just did a big back bend, so we're going into this easy. As you inhale, lengthen the spine. As you exhale, twist ever so gently. We go two more just like that. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, twist slowly. Inhale, lengthen, twist, and we're gonna hold here and breathe for three for two, for one, slowly come out of it. Take this left hand, right leg, find it first, then reach, just at an angle behind you to slowly turn. Inhale, we get longer. Exhale, we twist a tiny bit further. Don't force these. And we start to shine our heart towards the side. Hold at your furthest point, and we'll hold here for three, for two, and one. Release it. Join me on your back for Shavasana. We'll hug our knees into our chest for a moment. Maybe rock side to side, give your lower back some love. And then when you're ready, come into your final resting posture, Shavasana. Feet can be apart, toes can sway out, 
palms towards the sky. Closing your eyes if it feels comfortable. Maybe rock your head side to side until you find the spot that feels like the middle to you today. Let everything go just for a moment. While we wrap up and end, you may stay in Shavasana or roll onto one side and slowly make your way up into a seated position, keeping your eyes closed if it works for you. If you come up to the seated position, roll your shoulders forward, up, back, and down, shining your heart one more time. We inhale our arms down, around, and up. Palms touch at the top and come down to heart center. And then thumbs come up to the space between your eyebrows, the site of our amazing intuition. And we all say, Namaste. Oh, I hope you enjoyed that heart, heart opening yoga flow today. I hope you feel energized. And through the whole month of May, I hope you feel a little extra love. Happy Mother's Day. Go have a great one.